Industries Private Limited. My name is Shambhuli and today we are going to discuss about the determination of Planck's constant by solar cell and its order code is 55714. So in this video we are going to see how we assemble the kit and how this kit works. So starting with our first component that is IC regulated DC power supply which we are using for determination of Planck constant by solar cell. So we can see here two digital uh, boards are shown. So first one is for voltmeter. This is the digital voltmeter. It will give the readings for voltage. And this is our digital ammeter which will give the current reading. And the, uh, these are the regulators to regulate the voltage as well as current. And this is the output uh, ports of this DC supply. Now moving on to our next accessories. So the first one is our analog, analog uh, current meter or ammeter. So this is uh, of 50 microamperes. It will give the readings to 50 microamperes. Moving on to the next, this is our solar panel, which has two ports, positive and negative. So we will connect this through the analog voltmeter. Now moving on to the, our next accessories. This is our light source, six volt light source. And it also has two terminals, positive and negative, which will connect to the DC power supply. Next is our convex lens. And this is both sided convex lens and uh, its diameter is 50 mm. This is our uh, optical filter of different colors, yellow, green, blue, red, orange. So we can uh, use any filter and perform our experiment. So now we will start assembling our products on this optical bench. This is our optical bench and it has two stands. So now we will mental all our accessories on this optical bench. So first we will assemble our this stand. And we will see that this optical bench has a uh, line has the uh, scale as well. So we will put this uh, indication line on this side of the scale. So now we will use these screws to uh, tighten so that our stand fix properly. So we have assembled all three stands here. Now we will uh, move on to our next, that is our source. So we will fix the source on the first end of, uh, of this optical bench on the first uh, stand. So we will put this, uh, this light source in this stand and we will uh, use the screw to fix it. Now next is our convex mirror. Now we will fix this convex mirror in the length of this light source as we have to use uh, the light source on this mirror. So we will set the position accordingly. Now third one, this is our solar panel. Now we will fix it on the third stand. So now we have assembled all the products and now moving on to our experiment. So our first experiment is to determine the Planck's constant of solar cell and using the optical filters. So I have shown you already the optical filters of different colors. So we will use the blue one first here. So this is our blue optical filter and now we will place it here just uh, in the case that is given in the solar panel here. We will place it like this. So this is our optical filter place. We can use different filters as well and we will perform further experiment. So now moving on to the connections. So we will connect the uh, light source output uh, to the DC power supplies output, positive and negative terminal. 
and we will connect this solar panels terminal to the analog ammeter terminals. So this is how we have done the connection and now we will switch this DC supply on. So this is our, these are our regulators. So we can see that 0.05 and 0.07 are the default readings of this uh, DC power supply. And now we will start with our experiment. So this is our light source and we will note down the readings when our filament of this light glows. So we will uh, increase the voltage and we will see how uh, when the filament glows. So, so we will note down the readings when our uh, this filament glows. So we can see 2.98 volt and 0.99 ampere current and we will calculate its resistance as well. So now moving on to our experiment. So we will place this light source again back to its normal position and then we will increase the voltage to see the change in our micro ampere that is analog ammeter. So now we can see the as we are increasing this DC power supply voltage our analog ammeters reading is also increasing. So we can fix it on 2 microamperes, 6 microamperes and we will note down the readings and then we will do the calculations as per. So now we can see how the uh, analog ammeter is showing the readings uh, when we are changing the voltage on the DC power supply and we will take the reference of manual and cal calculate the Planck's constant. So this was all about our first experiment. So now our next experiment is to compare the illuminating power of given sources of light and verify the inverse square law. So now in this experiment we will we will firstly uh, move this regulator to the initial stage as it was. And now here in this, we will we can move this uh, these stands as well. So we will put these stands closer to each other, and then we will start noting down the readings of by moving this. Uh, the light source will be in fixed position at zero, and we will move the uh, the optical filter and this solar panel, and we will calculate its power or the readings of the current on the analog meter. So now again we are we have kept this at 25. Uh, we can see this on the scale. So now we will start increasing the voltage and we will see as we are we will fix the voltage first. So we have fixed the voltage and now we have fixed this as well. So now we will move it. We can move 5 inches, so firstly it was on 25, now we have moved it 5 inches, that is on 30, now on 40, so we will see the change in the uh, analog ampere meter, so this is how our, this experiment will be performed and we will note down the readings as per uh, the table given in the manual. So this is our table in the manual. So we can see we have the distance of lamp from solar cell and this is the micro ammeter reading. So we will note down the readings and this was all about our second experiment. So that was all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this product, you can contact us at our global website that is Tesca Global. And for more products, we have given the link in the description. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching the video.